Good evening. My name is Pastor Greg. I'm here with Jeremy Mims and Craig Allen, and we are here to welcome you to our service of Compline. Compline is a service of evening prayer that we are going to be uh, praying and singing, chanting as we go through our Lenten journey this year. Uh, it's a little bit different from what we are accustomed to. There is a, a lot more space in this service for contemplation, and uh, it is an easy way to end the day together. It's intended for us to be meditating upon not only the scripture and the prayers within the worship service itself, but also on our days, our weeks, our lives, the way that we are all continually being formed as we make this journey to the cross with our Lord Jesus Christ. When you hit a part of the service that is unfamiliar, lean into it with that Lutheran boldness. We'll all find our way through together. I trust that the Holy Spirit will bless our time together this night, just as the Holy Spirit always does. We begin our service with the gathering. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning your truth at the close of the day. Our service continues with our night hymn. The page number will be shown on the screen, and we just invite you to flip to that page at this time for our hymn. Yeah. Hey. 
our service continues with confession and forgiveness. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, and in him we are forgiven. We rest now in his peace and rise in the morning to serve him. Our service continues with our psalms. Each night we will be chanting one or two of the psalms, uh, and we will, of course, announce which ones. With the psalms, I will begin chanting, and then I invite you to hop in Join me as you feel led to do so. Perhaps every other verse, perhaps all the verses, once you've heard the psalm tones, you can see that they are marked in the bulletin so that you'll know when to change the pitches, and you can see the pitches there. Um, even if you can't read music, I promise it will sink in as we go. When we get to the end of the psalm, there is a doxology. It's not always written, but we will... Uh, we will always chant that, and that's glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. And that is when that psalm will end. Then, at the end of that psalm, we will pray, and uh, there may be a, a small space in between there for us to contemplate the psalm and its message beforehand. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you love illusions and seek after lies? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. The Lord will hear me when I call. Tremble then and do not sin. Your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Who will show us any good? Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine abound. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me secure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. God, source of deliverance and help, do not let our hearts be troubled, 
but fill us with such confidence and joy that we may sleep in your peace and rise in your light through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the upright. Praise the Lord with a lyre. Make music for God with a ten-string harp. Sing for the Lord a new song. Play your instruments skillfully with joyful sounds. For your word, O Lord, is right. And faithful are all your works. You love righteousness and justice. Your steadfast love fills the whole earth. By your word were the heavens made. By the breath of your mouth all the host of heaven. Gather up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin, and store up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe. For God spoke, and it came to pass. God commanded and stood fast. Truly your eye is upon those who fear you, O Lord, upon those who wait for your steadfast love to deliver their lives from death and to keep them alive in time of famine. Our innermost being waits for you, O Lord, our helper and our shield. Surely our heart rejoices in you, for in your holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us as we place our hope in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. God, by your word you made heaven and earth, and through your living word, Jesus Christ, you continue to accomplish your purpose for creation. Make us witnesses to your truth and instruments of your peace, that all may know you are the God who loves justice and acts faithfully, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now comes the time in our service when we have a brief lesson. As you can see in your worship guide there, we have five, which is good. There's one for each of the Lenten midweek services that we'll be having. The purpose of the lesson here is not the same as on Sunday mornings, where we read through longer passages, and of course there's a homily or a sermon. In this case, it's really just to capture to encapsulate some thought from Scripture that is particularly appropriate in the evening hours, and to spend just a little bit of time meditating upon that. 
So we'll, what we'll do is uh, I'll read the lesson and then we'll have just a few moments to let that resonate with us. Think about how it has applied to our lives today and what it might be saying to us, how it might be leading us. Reading from the prophet Jeremiah. You are in our midst, O Lord, and you have named us yours. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. A reading from St. Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all whose work is hard, whose load is heavy, and I will give you rest. Bend your necks to my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble-hearted, and you will find rest. For my yoke is good to bear, and my load is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Continue with our hymn. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes, and the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest, 
and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. May the Spirit of our Lord be with us this night, and with our brothers and sisters who are away. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Good night.